Guys, I'm going to tell y'all what. I'm really, really nervous right now. Oh, never mind. Jack's, that's his tail feathers right there. What's he doing? It's so late at night. Why is he talking like that? <laughs> Who's he trying to call? Pretty sure his girls are up there with him. But anyways, guys, tonight is a really nervous night for me. I'm not the kind of person that gets nervous very often. I'm usually, I feel like, pretty sure of myself and pretty and plan things pretty methodically so that I don't have to be nervous when the moment comes. But this is kind of one of those inevitable things that, as a, you know, proud and concerned dad, just had to happen at some point. If you're wondering what it is, tonight is going to be my princess Phoebe's first night ever sleeping outdoors. I've known that this is due for some time. I didn't know exactly when it would happen. I knew that it would have to happen eventually. But I think tonight is going to be that night. There's a few reasons why. For starters, um, Phoebe has been using the bathroom really bad in the house. The potty training, using the puppy pads, has not gone too well. And to be honest, I'm not that great at teaching it, at potty training. This is my first time having my own puppy that I acquired, you know, me and Meg. And so it's a learning experience for the both of us. Don't get me wrong, we love our Phoebe with all of our heart. I'm so proud of her. It's no big deal. I'll gladly pick up her messes a million times over because how much I love her. But I'd be lying if I said it wasn't tiring. Every morning I wake up and just see the mess, the demolition that she's done in our house with, you know, breaking into the bathroom and shredding toilet paper all over the place or the poop messes in the corner and the smells and whatnot. And so that's one thing. If it was just that, then, you know... I don't know. Maybe, maybe it wouldn't be a different story. I don't know. There's a few other things, though. Um, secondly, I noticed that Phoebe has fleas on her. When we took her to the vet a little bit ago, a few weeks ago, uh, we got her on a flea prescription so that she wouldn't have any. That's the last thing a little puppy needs is fleas sucking her blood. And she's trying to grow and develop into a healthy puppy. And all was good. But earlier tonight, when I had her in the house with me, I noticed a few fleas on her. And the fleas jumped on me and jumped on some of our blankets and whatnot. And so I put her outside instantly because, um, you know, we have cats in the house and we can't have them getting fleas on them and whatnot. We have our cats flea treated and um, we don't want a flea outbreak or anything like that. So that's the second thing. And then third of all, there's just in general her, you know, getting used to being an outside animal. At some point, someday, she has to, how did that cat get in there? Oh my gosh, there's a kitty cat in there with the bunny rabbits. That is so silly. <laughs> kitty, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, that is so silly. It's Saturday night right now, and so tomorrow's Sunday. No vets or anything like that will be open. So we'll have to wait till Monday to get her in and get her on a new flea prescription unfortunately the worst day of the week this could have happened on but it's not a big deal it's not the end of the world she's still she see she's even itching a little bit right now so maybe i get maybe the previous flea medication wore off and then today something she got into had fleas in it and it was the first chance for them to start jumping on her and so we'll get that taken care of as soon as possible obviously but just in general i know at some point she has to learn to be an outside dog. She can't be inside forever, especially with how big she gets. And it's easier, everybody knows this, whether you're a human or an animal, whatever it is, it's easier to learn something when you're young than to have to try to adjust to it when you're older. Because, you know, when you're young, your brain is still very um, undeveloped, still developing, very malleable. It can, so it can be shifted into, in a lot of different ways into a lot of different things. But when you become older, everything, your mind and your body is more rigid and doesn't want to adjust or change as easily. So it's a, it's a lot harder to learn something and to adjust to something when you're older versus when you're younger. So it might make her sad right now. It might be difficult for her, but in the long run, it'll be so much better for her learning to be a puppy, learning to be an outside dog, learning to be a protector, spending time with Rooster at night. 
being able to rely on him and hopefully not as much on us it breaks my heart though it makes me so sad oh i'm so worried for her i love her so much phoebe you're gonna be okay baby oh i'm praying to god i've prayed multiple times tonight i, I know it's a small little thing it might seem very small but i just love my sweet princess so much and i just i want her to be so safe and so healthy so happy I love you so much, Phoebe. Are you holding your daddy's hand? You're going to make me cry. Oh, my goodness. I've never cried on a video before. I'm not an emotional type, usually. Oh, I love my girl so much. You guys have no idea just how attached I've gotten to her. Oh, we love you, Phoebe. We love you so much. Let's hope all goes well. I'm going to wake up early and come out here. Um... I have her bed right here that she's kind of sandwiched, so let me fold it back out for her. I got a big old fan right here, humongous fan I got from Tractor Supply to make sure she stays cool when the sun comes out, make sure she won't get overheated or anything like that. I placed her under these trees right here so that she can have plenty of shade. And like I said, I'll come out soon to check on her. I'll wake up earlier than I would normally to check on my sweet girl. It had to happen eventually, and so I figured with, you know, the, the messes, she's kind of getting worse with the messes in the house, and then with the new flea outbreak, I don't want our cats exposed to that. I just figured that it, it just, it's, probably meant, it's probably meant to be now. She's doing good outdoors. She's been spending more time outdoors anyway, so it's probably time. I put her right here. I have a, I had a setup for her and Rooster. Over here, I have this fan already. Rooster's right there. I, I, have put the, I put the little goats in here so that Phoebe would have some friends and some company. And as you can see, they're cuddling right there. But um, one thing that's concerned me a little bit is that there's certain times that Rooster gets kind of food aggressive. And so you see that bowl of dog food I have right there. There's been a few times where Phoebe kind of gets near his dog food and it angers him and so he'll growl at her and kind of pin her down. He don't want to hurt her or anything like that, but he is a little bit food aggressive. He gets angry and he can get really mean if he feels that like someone's trying to take his food. That, that'll be Phoebe, the goats, the cats, whoever it is. He don't want anybody near his food. And so just in case, I figured that Phoebe would lay there with him and they'd cuddle. But just in case he don't want her there or feels a little bit defensive over that area, I made her the second area over here so that she can resort to this if she needs to stay cool or needs you know to dip her body in some water and i got her a little bed all right here it goes daddy's going inside phoebe my love come here hey daddy's going inside okay i love you with all my heart you please be so so good mommy and daddy are gonna be back out here so soon to check on you okay make sure you're doing good i set you up with everything i could possibly think of you get some good rest, baby girl, okay? Good night, Phoebe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're up. Oh, boy, I'm nervous. I don't see him. Oh, actually, I do. Puppies! Oh, my goodness, there's Rooster. And there's the Phoebe! Oh my goodness! How did y'all do, guys? Good morning! Oh my goodness! I'm going down there, give me a second. Oh my goodness! How did y'all do, babies? Y'all do so good! Oh, I'm so proud of y'all. Let's go! Come on out, everybody! Y'all's first night outside together. How was it? Phoebe! The puppy! The good girl! Hey, Rooster, Rooster, Rooster. Oh, my goodness. Phoebe, how did you do, baby? How are you feeling? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You're so tired, baby. Oh, my goodness. Daddy just wake you up. Oh, who'd you get, puppy? Who'd you, who'd you, who'd you get, puppy? Oh, I'm so proud of her. What a good girl. Wow, guys. 
thank the Lord that it went well. Y'all know I was so worried about it, but it appears that everything is fine and well. Guys, that right there is one dirty outside dog. <laughs> that's a dog that's been rummaging and digging through the soil. Oh my goodness, I'm filling up her little pool right now. Let her cool off in here, but oh, she hasn't missed a beat. Oh, my sweet little Phoebe. So silly. You guys, you see that over there? <laughs> in the week, two weeks that we've had them, whatever it is, I've never actually seen them asleep before until right now. This is the first time I've ever seen them passed out fully asleep. I've seen them rest a few times. I've seen them rest in a little bit, but I've never seen them actually passed out like that. I guess he has to sleep at some point, and if he's keeping guard at night, then I guess he sleeps during the heat of the day. Smart man, right in front of the fan. You can see his hair blowing. Smart man. Well, guys, I got caught out in the rain over here. Storming pretty heavily, as you can see. I'm camping out right now with old Chia, Phoebe, and Rooster, and the goats. Hey, Ryan, you playing on the little tractor? <laughs> Oh, all three of them are there. Oh yeah, it's raining hard, you guys. There's Jake and Lissa and their dogs, I see. Trying to get inside. <laughs> I might just wait it out. I don't think it's gonna rain that long. Hey, goaties. Whoa, you're falling, Ryan. Hey, guys. What are y'all doing? Y'all hanging out? Look at those big bellies. Y'all getting so big. Yeah, I was making a video out here and before I could even react, it just started pouring out of nowhere. So I had to get the Argo inside. I had to get myself and the dog sheltered in here. And so we'll probably just wait this out a few minutes. I can already see kind of the sun. I can see it pretty sunny over there. So shouldn't be long, I don't think. Texas weather, man, unpredictable. You never know what's coming next over here. Bam. She loves her big brother so much. What is she doing to him? Oh my gosh, baby. What are you doing to poor Rooster, huh? <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. He's out of control. Phoebe, be nice to... Uh, Phoebe, please be nice to the little goatee. Phoebe, stop. Stop biting her on the neck. She's going for the jugular. Just like that, the rain stopped, you guys, just about. I told y'all it'd be just a two or three minute thing. Just little droplets now, but it's about done. That was quick. Quick and easy. All done. You're gonna check this out right here. Got my little Phoebe puppy right here. Got Cup right there hanging out. Look at this. Look at Phoebe's little feet. Look at her little dew claw. Isn't that so crazy? She's polydactyl. She's a polydactyl puppy. <laughs>